Hello and good morning, my friend. Welcome to another segment of Hanging with the Boss Lady. I am your host, the boss lady herself, Cheryl Jones, a.k.a. that little old country girl. How you doing this morning? To God be all the glory. Let's start today's segment out by just repeating the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Wonderful. And I pray that you all had a very safe and happy holiday on yesterday. So now it's time to get back to work. So let's go. I have a question that I would like to pose to you this morning. And the question is this, what kind of impact do you think you have on people? That's the kind of question that makes you go, hmm, what kind of impact do I have on people? Is it a positive impact or is it a negative impact? Hmm. Now, I know many people talk about impression, the impression that you leave or make on people, but an impression is simply how you think or feel about them or their behavior or their actions or some words they might have said. I'm talking about something deeper. I'm talking about something you might have said or done that actually changes the way a person acts or thinks. Hmm, have you ever impacted someone to the extent that their lives will never be the same? In a good way, of course. That's my question to you today. Have you impacted someone's life? Have you done something or are doing something that really actually changes the way a person operates? That's an awesome question. First, let's look at the definition of the word impact. Impact is to have a strong effect on someone or something. An impact is the effect or influence of one person or thing or action on another. So you see, it's not just someone's impression. It is an impact. When I hear that word impact, what comes to my mind is something hard hitting and striking. You leave an impression so you can create a ripple effect that will last for decades and you'll be influencing the lives of many people over the course of time. Can you imagine if you were that person that left such an impact in this world that for centuries from now, you will be remembered, you will be thought of in a positive way, of course. When I think about leaving a positive impact, I think about the people who have already done so. And I would like to share the names of six people who have, and there are many, 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 many more people. But I just want to leave six who have impacted the world so much that their names will never be forgotten. Let's start with Rosa Parks. She refused to give up a seat and it started a civil rights movement that changed. Then there's Frank Will. He is the one who helped to expose Watergate, which led to the resignation of President Nixon. And then there's a woman named Lily Ledbetter. She fought 
for the better pay of women in the workplace. And then there's another lady named Irina Sendler who helped free imprisoned Jewish children in 1939. And then there is Sir Thomas Bernard Lee. He created the World Wide Web. There's another man named Martin Luther King, and he will never be forgotten for his civil rights stand. And then there's Nelson Mandela, who was imprisoned for years and years, who came out and became president. Lastly, on this list that I'm talking today, and certainly not least, there's a man named Jesus. This man gave up his life, died, and rose from the dead so that we could receive salvation through repentance and be redeemed and have the opportunity to live eternally in heaven. Now that is an impact that will affect people for generations and generations and generations until he comes again. That is an impact. Now I want to say that you don't have to be famous to leave an impact. You can leave an impact on your family. You can leave an impact in your neighborhood. You can leave an impact by just not allowing yourself to only think about yourself. All these people who left impacts, positive impacts that will never be forgotten are people who chose to not only focus on themselves. My message to you today, my friend, is make your life count. Leave a positive impact. And it's not that hard to do. And I'm sure Martin Luther King and Nelson Mandela and Rosa Parks and Irina Sendler and Sir Thomas Berners-Lee all of these people, when they were going about their way to do what they felt so passionate about, did not just think about what they would get out of it. And mainly, Jesus Christ. He definitely was not in it for just himself. They all thought about what they could do to make lives better for someone else. And it was not always an easy road that they were on. It was not all peaches and cream and they did not have a lot of people supporting them. As a matter of fact, many people who leave a great impact on the world have opposition often. And there are times when they may feel like the struggle is too hard. Jesus himself encountered much opposition, but he was determined to complete his assignment because he knew that if he did not complete his assignment, we would be lost. My friend, all of the people who are named that left positive impacts on people refused to give up even when it seemed like it was hopeless they continued and you may say well I'm just an ordinary person how can I do something to leave a positive impact I have the answer to that question here are actually five ways to make a positive impact Number one, listen to people and be empathetic. When someone is talking to you, really listen. You will be surprised how that will affect someone because many times people feel like they're not being heard. 
But if you would just take the time and just listen emphatically, you gain the trust of that person and the respect of that person. And believe me, they will not ever forget how you listened. That's a big thing. The second thing is acknowledge and encourage people to action. When you see someone trying, when they're venturing out and putting their all into it, and they may seem like they're discouraged because they're not getting recognition or attention, acknowledge them. Let them know, I see you. I see what you're doing. I think you're doing a wonderful job. And I want you to know that I support what you're doing. Don't give up. I will stand here and support you. Encourage them. That will leave such an impact because they may have needed just that little word of encouragement to boost them. They may have been feeling like, forget it. It's just not going to work. I give up. But when you give them those words of encouragement, it renews their faith in themselves the next thing is get involved all of the people that I mentioned before they got involved they did not just sit around and see the condition of something that needed changing and did not do what they can to help change it Martin Luther King had a wife and children but He talked, he marched, and he gave his all to help the fight for civil rights. Rosa Parks, when she was sitting on that bus, I'm sure she knew that it was not going to be easy for her. I'm sure she heard words that would have made many people say, I give up, okay, I surrender, I just want to go home. I don't want to face this. But she knew deep within herself that it was time for a change. So she sat there and refused to give up her seat. And it started a civil rights movement that helped change the laws. I would like to read a scripture for you. Philippians 2 and 3 from the NIV version reads, Let nothing be done through selfish ambition or conceit but in lowliness of mind let each esteem others better than themselves think about others more than you think about yourself how you can help improve their life encourage them give them new hope this is a true action of someone that will leave an impact on the world You do not have to be a celebrity. You do not have to be anyone famous. You do not have to be rich. Anybody can do it. You can do it, my friend. So now I ask you the question again. What kind of impact do you think you are leaving for someone? Are you impacting someone in a positive way? And then the follow-up question is, who has impacted your life? Has your life ever been impacted by someone else's generosity, caring actions? Hmm, that's the question. And I would love to hear from you to get some feedback so you can let me know. Have you impacted or been impacted good question i look forward to hearing from you and i'm going to let you now get to the remainder of your day i pray that you all are doing well and until we meet again may the lord god bless you real good boss lady out